Hi friends and welcome back to Stars Tree. I'm Sarit. Today I want to reach out to all the unhappy workaholics out there. This is a wake-up call for you. I feel this is something I needed so much when I was deep in this addiction. Okay, so here we go. Wake up. You are asleep. If you are unhappily working hard, you are living life asleep or unconsciously. I say this because I know deep down you are miserable and you feel genuinely trapped that you have to be where you are right now. But I want to tell you that there is so much you can do to better your life and that it would benefit everyone, both you and those that you think you are protecting or benefiting by overworking. You see, due to working so hard, your worldview has narrowed and you are in a kind of a bubble or a black hole, so things seem more dramatic, more serious and more detrimental than they really are. You don't need to work this hard and you don't need to be unhappy. Please start opening your mind to this idea. Work addiction is a real and a serious problem that must be treated. Don't be misled by our work addiction approving culture and media. We are talking about your life and your health. Now, I have three basic messages for you. Life is right now, life is beautiful, and life is up to you. Okay, so we said life is right now. What do I mean by that? Are you working extra hard, exhausting yourself so that you can reap the rewards later? Wake up! Life is now. Later may never come. Or more so, later will always be later. We were told life is hard. You need to struggle in life. It takes hard work to earn well. But us workaholics, we take that to a very unhealthy extreme. Balance with work is something that's trickier for us. There are people in the world that need a wake-up call to remind them to invest effort in order to earn or succeed. But for us, we need a very different wake-up call. Live now. Live happily now. And don't postpone joy or life will pass you by. Don't take your life for granted as if it's only a rehearsal for the real thing. Life is beautiful. You are so lucky to have been born to positive circumstances. Being responsible doesn't mean working extremely hard. Be responsible by taking advantage of the hand that you were dealt and allowing yourself to live the beautiful life that is possible for you. I know that from where you are, you are right now, life might seem dark and hard. As workaholics who spend most of our time working and pretty much all of our time at least thinking about work, our life perspective is very narrow making it very hard to see life for how it truly is, which is amazing, wonderful, beautiful. One of your most important missions on your way to freedom from this addiction is to broaden your perspective, your worldview. What I'm saying is you need to pick out of the black hole you are in and look at life whenever you possibly can. If you can, take a vacation, um, a long weekend, or simply a weekend without any work. Get 
totally disconnected from work. Your goal is to do something you love that you haven't done in a while and allow yourself to see how beautiful life is. If you feel this is too extreme for you at this point, then you have to gradually expand your perspective during your day to day. Try taking a walk every day and listening to an inspiring audio such as a talk or a music you like. Something that interests you and is not related to work. Something that reminds you of how life is wonderful. Just as an example, the TED Radio Hour from NPR helped me personally a lot. Find a way to incorporate whatever inspires you into your life. And lastly, I want you to know that life is up to you. As a workaholic, I used to see myself as a very responsible and dedicated employee. Um, it was my highest value, being an incredible employee. I was living by it and gradually I became miserable and yet I continued working even harder because I felt I had to. I want to shake my old self. Your responsibility is first of all to yourself. You only live once and you are wasting it as if you have time to be unhappy. Wake up, take your life into your hands. You have the control and you are the only one that has the control. No other person can validate you. No other person can determine your worth or your contribution to the world. It is all you. You are 100% responsible for your reactions, for your choices, for your self-care and for your self-love. Relying on others to give you the okay to take a break or to build up your self-esteem means giving up your control, giving up your natural, basic power. As workaholics, we are our worst enemies in a way. Neglecting ourselves, ignoring our feelings, pushing ourselves to extremes and working compulsively despite detrimental outcomes. You think you are doing the responsible thing, but it's actually the other way around. Your life is up to you. And once you take care of yourself, you can really take care of others or other things. You are enough. This is your starting point, not your end point. This is the only way to make life work. You have what it takes to transform your life for the better. Take this project as seriously as you would approach a work-related project. Learn about work addiction, what it means for you and what are your options for breaking free. You will literally be saving your life. So remember, life is now, life is beautiful, and life is up to you. You can break free from work addiction and have an amazing, happy life. Thank you so much for watching. Please share with someone close that you feel needs this wake up call. Please like and subscribe and come visit me over at starstree.com where we break free from work addiction. I'll see you there.